Langdon Dixon, we appreciate rest, but we don't necessarily want it. Even though he couldn't begin practice until August 30th, Landon Dickerson still started 14 games in the Philadelphia Eagles offensive line as a rookie in the 2021 NFL season. Now Dickerson is seeking to master his first NFL offseason. More NFL. IS Washington's Darren Payne overlooked. Damian Square back in playoffs after elimination. Five Alabama alumni on NFL all-rookie team for 2021. This is really my first offseason in this league, Dickerson said. I got to kind of figure it out for myself this first time around. I think a big thing is probably resting and getting healthy from kind of a long season, so I think that'll probably be be the first step, and then whenever I feel good, getting back in a couple of weeks, getting back to training, getting back into film and working out. Kind of just going to have to play it out and see how I feel. Dickerson's offseason started when the Eagles were eliminated from the NFL playoffs by a 31-15 loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on January 16 during Super Wildcard Weekend. After playing 859 offensive snaps in 14 regular season games and another 66 in the playoff contest, Dickerson has things he wants to work on in his first offseason. There's a whole list of things that come to mind, Dickerson said, whether it's footwork, change of direction, flexibility, explosiveness, speed, power, strength, vision, reading defenses, there's a lot of things I'd like to improve on. Dickerson suffered a torn anterior cruciate ligament during Alabama's 52-46 victory over Florida in the SEC championship game on December 19, 2020. Philadelphia picked Dickerson with the 37th selection in the NFL draft on April 30 even though the Eagles knew he would get off to a delayed start in his career. Dickerson is leaving his first NFL season in good shape, though. Physically I feel pretty good, Dickerson said. Physically, I am not ready to stop playing, nor mentally. We devote our lives to this because we love this. Anytime it's over, sure, your boat is probably happy, but I'd do this every day until I couldn't play anymore physically. I love this sport. I love this team. I love what I do, so it's hard to say. I'd love to keep playing for four more weeks if I could. Any rest is obviously appreciated but it's not necessarily wanted. Dickerson did not play in Philadelphia's season opener, but he took the field in the second game when right guard Brandon Brooks sustained a season-ending injury. After starting the third game at right guard, Dickerson switched to left guard when Isaac Ciamolo joined Brooks on the sideline. Dickerson spent the rest of the season at left guard, even though he joined the Eagles from Alabama after he earned unanimous All-American recognition and won the Rymington Trophy as the nation's best center. But he played all the offensive line positions during his college career. Where Dickerson will play for Philadelphia is 2022 is to be determined. Tiamolo should be back from his injury, but Brooks will not because he announced his retirement this week. Now the Eagles are sweating out the retirement decision of center Jason Kels after the veteran turned in his fourth All-Pro season in 2021. Philadelphia should be set at offensive tackle with regulars Lane Johnson, a three-time Pro Bowler, and Jordan Malada. Dickerson said Kels and Johnson had been particularly helpful to him during his rookie campaign. It's been a tremendous honor to play with both of these guys, Dickerson said. I can't tell you how thankful I am to have been able to play beside them and in meetings with them and learn from them. They're extremely great football players. They're even better humans when it comes to how they treat people and how they go about their lives. It does kind of suck at this time because the season's over. It's our livelihoods, and I enjoy every second that I am in the building with those guys. It's really meant a lot for me to be able to play beside them and learn beside them and see what it takes to be a great player in this league. The Eagles reached the playoffs this season after posting a 4-11-1 record in 2020, a showing that had prompted the team to bring in Indianapolis Colts offensive coordinator Nick Sirianni as head coach. Coach has done a tremendous job, Dickerson said. He came in here, and he hasn't changed his plan. He hasn't changed anything he said. He stuck to his word, and he stayed on course. And that's all you can ask for is consistency. I think that's a huge thing in this league is being consistent with what you're doing. He's sticking to his plan and sticking to what he says, and I really appreciate that, and I think it set us up for a great foundation of what the future of this team can be. For more of AL.com's coverage of the NFL, go to our NFL page. Mark Abinet is a sports reporter for Alabama Media Group. Follow him on Twitter at Mark one